previously, took on Saffron City gym leader Sabrina Zalakazam with Dark Trio and one handedly. The part of the gym in Saffron City. Pidgeot used the hidden move fly and flew to Route 10. Went to Pokemart in Fuchsia City and spent a lot of money for items. Departed the power plant for the next destination. Pidgeot used Hidden Move Fly to fl and flew to Fuchsia City. And Rosette saved the game at this location, Fuchsia City. And we magic warp yet again because I don't like to edit these beforehand. Sorry guys, it's just easier to record them in 20 minute chunks and uh, not and do all the editing once we get the recording done. Drack. Drack! Andrea! Wake up! What? 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 what time is it? I don't know. Is it another time for feeding again? Uh, no, guys. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Whose turn is it? I don't know. I thought can it was your turn. Can we just teach Arya to do it? She's old enough. Um, guys, she's only three. Oh, silly drag. She'll just end up taking the bottle of milk for herself, and then we will never see it again. I don't care. I want to get up. I don't want to. Wait a minute. Are you saying it's three in the afternoon? We should be recording. Yeah, What's we recording? are recording. I won't go back to bed. Drag. <laughs> 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 for all the people who thought that that's actually what we would be doing right now. Because wow. uh, Drac and Andrea just welcomed their newest addition to the family. Yes. Drac so. the third! Drac the third! <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Yes, so for, I guess first things first that we need to take care of is thank you to all of the well-wishers and the congratulations that we got. That was really awesome of you guys. And I've said it numerous times on my channel, but I'm going to say it here too because we did actually have some Dragon Shadow listeners do the exact same thing. So thank you guys so much. But yes, we welcomed our second daughter into the world. And uh, she's she's here and she's here to stay and she likes eating <laughs> and sleeping and pooping and likes taking away our sleep and all that fun stuff. And Arya is the only one who practically gets the sleep in the most. Yeah, that's that's the saddest reality of this whole situation is like she's perfectly fine. She Aww. sleeps all the way. But mommy and daddy, we get woken up every couple hours. Mostly to mommy. Go and do the feedings and all that. And Alex just is kind of looking at all of us and going, I don't do this. <laughs> I don't I, do this. Yeah. You will soon, my friend. You will soon. Yeah. All it takes is for you to find your waifu. <laughs> my true waifu. And then oh, and also special thanks to uh, Alex the Shadow Blazer and Stephen Romney for running the podcast in my absence as I was uh, I'm trying to think I think we had just barely yeah we, we, we just, came home from the hospital that day so we were all very tired in fact th th to show people how tired we are uh, average bedtime right now is about 9 30 10 and Something I have like become a, a chronic drinker of Mountain Dew <laughs> chronic drinker of coke <laughs> Just to stay awake. Yeah, I spent so much time trying to get myself off pop, and now I'm back on it. So much so that as soon as we ran, uh, so right before this recording session, I ran out of Coke. <laughs> and so I'm like, so they're going, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Go to Walmart, buy some more. But I don't have time for that, Alex. We got to record Pokemon. <laughs> We gotta record some Pokemon because then the people will get mad at us. Actually, frankly, a, a few of our a few of our listenership, I think, would understand because they actually follow us on Twitter and all that. Super effective. 
The the only thing I, I guess I need to clarify with you really quick, Alex, is yes. uh, apparently at that podcast, there was a demand for me to come in and give my thoughts on a few of the stories. I wasn't sure which ones, but uh, th- did something happen that uh, I'm going to regret when I come back eventually? I don't know. What stories <laughs> you want to maybe run? I did not get hinted at in, in any slight. To, so I I came in to to say hi to the chat and say thank you, but uh, you know then I, I went to bed yeah. and uh, we we got ready for the next three a.m. feeding. So I don't know, like, cause I know you guys talked about EA and I know you guys talked about um crap. I, I can't even remember the story I came in on. That's that's the way things are for me right now. Is like. This week and the next week and the next week after that are going to be a blur. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to remember too much. You guys were in the entertainment portion. I know that much. When yeah. I walked in. Um, so whatever your kickoff one was for that. But I'm pretty sure that was the, the redacting of the previous reported that Michael Bay was... Developing yeah, live the action door, door of the Explorer movie. Because I remember putting in the chat, damn it, college humor. Man, do you want to see a Door Explorer movie? No, not really. Live the action? college humor skit was enough. I'm... That shows exactly why that shouldn't happen. <laughs> see how many Christmas people, because that's the joke of the college humor skit, is it's Door the Explorer as directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> and somehow that sparked a rumor mill to actually want that? Why? <laughs> I don't think it was that that sparked the rumors. Just we speculated that we, but I doubt it's that trailer in particular that sparked that rumor. It's just all I'm saying is the next rumor I want to start right here and now is Little Einstein's created by Eli Roth. <laughs> hey, Eli Roth is doing a family film. He's doing that Clocks movie. Oh, I just oh, saw wait, that is him. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I just saw that trailer. The, the house with the clock in its wall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's Eli Roth. I know. right? Horror <laughs> movie Eli Roth. Yeah. No wonder it's all twisted. Uh, Directed by Eli Roth. <laughs> well, now I feel like my film should happen. <laughs> Little Einstein's directed by Eli Roth. Make it happen. <laughs> Or maybe Little Einstein's directed by Wes Craven. <laughs> Wes Craven's dead, dude. Ah, uh, crap. Come on, give me somebody. <laughs> I need a horror director here. Directed by Guillermo del Toro. Tim Burton. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's too far. That, that's way too far. You said you wanted a horror. I do not need June to be played by Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> she hasn't been in this movie since and they broke would, up. And, and who would um play... Which one would Johnny Depp be playing? <laughs> He hasn't worked with Johnny Depp he'd lately be, he'd either. He'd be playing Rocket. You guys are so behind the times. <laughs> no, we just like making the jokes. <laughs> it's just like with Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher. Schumacher. Who's going to get the rubber nipples next? <laughs> or the rubber cod piece? But you're not wrong, Alex. We have been living in the past. Why? Because oh, we're, we're not even watching like mo- uh, current day stuff. We're watching stuff to help us get through the 3 a.m. feedings. <laughs> And so that means you go back into nostalgic territory, which for Andrea means pretty little liars. Sorry, <laughs> I just had to go back in that one. And for me, that means and I, I don't even know what sparked this, probably because of the, the announcement. But um, I had to go back to my childhood love. Gundam? No. Transformers. No. There was one before that. I so I I've been watching a lot of Transformers recently. Glob. Robots the, in disguise. The good series people, not not the bad ones. Yeah. It's either that not or I should. Not anything made by Cartoon Network. It's either that or I need to dig out like um, the Sword in the Stone and continue watching my Disney shows. I haven't. Well, that'd be better than Pretty Little Liars. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but every time I every time I come in to to watch her watching Pretty Little Liars, they're always at the soap opera moments. It's yeah. Like, will they? Won't they? Will they get back together? Won't they get back together? It's like, how about the murderer come out and take care of this uh, the uh, take care of this answer for us? 
Oh, and I just barely noticed you did not name your Vaporeon. Nope, I never could think of a name for it. Well, then in that well, case, then, the, well, you, you, know, some... you know YouTube protocol here. You resort to the audience naming Vaporeon. Well, that would be great if people actually commented. <laughs> and the fact that- Well, then that... I'm going to do a call to arms right here now. You guys, name Vaporeon for us. It's a little late now, guys. There's a name. There's a namer. I know, but it's still a little late. There's a naming way. We we can we can change it. Oh, by the way, welcome to the Seafoam Islands. We're going after Arcuna. Damn it, you're so monumentally ahead of me right now. <laughs> yeah. Boop, boop, I mean, boop. I could honestly say, like, in my recordings, I have finally gotten my sixth badge, and you're on your way to getting your seventh. Yeah. Gee, but he Christmas. I'm taking a little detour to go after some legendaries. Do we have access to legendaries right now? Of course we do. Oh, Articuno. It's, it's Gen 1. It is Gen... It is, in fact, Gen 1. Wah! Ow. I didn't realize water hurt. <laughs> I yes. landed on some it, rocks. Yes, Rosette. In fact, Danger. Fast currents. Oh, thanks for warning me now. <laughs> What the heck, man? I'm sure I've told the story before on this channel, but a mm -hmm. long time ago when I was playing Pokemon Blue as a kid. In a galaxy I, far, far away. <laughs> yes. Sorry, sorry. Every, um, <laughs> every time you want to say a long time ago, I, or I say it, that I want to say in a galaxy far, far away. So when I was playing Pokemon Blue way back when I was a kid, and I was in Seafall Islands, I remember just getting terribly, terribly lost in here and not wanting to lose the day's progress. Rather than just resetting the game to my last save point, I just slowly, slowly whittled down my team to to get them to all faint and to be warped back to a Pokemon Center <laughs> because I was too young and stupid to know what escape ropes were or th what dig was or what teleport was. <laughs> oh. Well, don't you love it? Where's the exit button? I can't find it. Well... Correct me if I'm wrong, Alex. Um, Pokemon was your first RPG, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. So I'm going to give you some credit here. I mean, you at least tried to get as far as you could. And uh, if you didn't get lost in the middle of the cave or, or know the map layout, you probably would have succeeded. <laughs> yeah. Because people get so mad when, when I make this mention, but it, it is worth saying. Pokemon, as compared to other JRPGs, ain't rocket science. Yeah, okay, it's very easy and entry level. It's good for kids. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen old school Final Fantasy games were way more complicated in their map design than this. You know, so I I, I I'm gonna give your your younger self a little bit of credit here. All right. Because you at least like tried to muscle your way through. Yeah. All right. And I've just. Rather than reset and rather than save myself like an hour and reset, I pretty much just uh, said, okay, I'm going to just make my Pokemon all faint. But, I mean, if you look at it from this perspective, they probably got some some decent experience on the way. Because I'm guessing you didn't get one shot. Yeah. Cause I was, I'm sh if I'm here, then I'm probably decently high leveled. Yeah. I, I Well, naturally. Because, yeah. I mean... I think it's the same way of every gen, but like the second badge of each is usually the one that gives you the level cap, right? So the second badge of any game gives you up to level 30. Um, fourth badge will give you up to level 50, so on and so forth. Right. So yeah, by now, like your Pokemon are technically able to get up to Elite Four standards kind of thing. Oh yeah, probably so. Yeah, that, that's about the level you'd be facing the Elite Four, right? 70? Uh, like that. A little less, less than that, like more like 50, 60. Yeah, yeah, that's right. First encounter would be like 50s, and then if you try to take on bonus content, you'd be in the 70s. Which, as Alex has insisted, we're doing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do <sighs> post-game stuff. Great. You're still going to be done before me. <laughs> and you, st and you, have, a you have a continent to explore, right? Uh, for... Not a continent, just a bunch of islands. And there's yeah. not a whole lot to do there because a lot of that's like, you know, like <laughs> Pokemon event kind of stuff that's long done with. But you're, you're still going to go out and try and do like Mewtwo and, and stuff like that, right? Yeah. 
I just, and here it is. It's here Articuno. is Articuno. I just wish, you know, some of those events you can actually trigger, you know, the ones that you can only do with the, was it the mystery gift or something? Yeah, like mystery gift stuff or... I would... I don't care. I've got, what, the battle pyramid, I think, is Emerald's bonus. Mm -hmm. You can get, well, you can go and get the Reggies, but, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think in Emerald you get use. Kyogre Kyo! and, and, um, Rayquaza. And that, and, we uh, were actually trying Groudon. to figure out, like, whoop. Groudon. I think he, in Emerald you can get all three of them. Whereas, yeah, whereas Ruby and Sapphire restrict you. You get, you and only... I don't even think Rayquaza is available in either of them. Yeah. So, yay! I can have like super powerful Pokemon that people will then get mad at me for because I am actually opting to use the legendaries <laughs> as opposed to not. You're gonna actually use them? Why not? Because it just kind of cheapens well, I mean, the experience. If if you gave me the choice, like I like Groudon. Groudon's Pokemon, the, the Pokemon equivalent of Godzilla. So, sure, I'd use him. Rayquaza, maybe. What's wrong with using legendaries? Just uh, cheapens the experience and the challenge. It's like, it's like giving your, it's like you might as well, it's like giving yourself a net. I don't know. Alex, are you literally making an I'm not heard cur enough argument? <laughs> yeah, you're not heard cur enough. You guys can't feel this, but I'm face palming so hard. I'll just get to put up a, a, an image in, for that. Yes, yes, please. So just, just find like a dozen different Captain Picard face palms, and and we'll be on the right track. Nah, I got the perfect one in mind. You'll see. Okay, <laughs> something better than Captain Picard. Well, I don't know about better, but just something different. I don't know, man. Everybody, I, like, I like me some Captain Picard. Yeah, but everybody uses that. Because it works. <laughs> because it helps so Okay, much. Articuno, you read my mind. For Pete's sake. I don't know if that negates my hypnosis or not. It's what, hard to know. your mind? Yeah, mind uh... reader. Because, I don't know, it's just... Hypnosis is just crap accuracy all around, so I just keep trying until I get it. This is why a lot of people go down the route of sleep powder. Because I think it, I think it's got a mildly better chance at working. Yeah. Here comes the great ball, and broke free. Yep. I, because this is unfortunately Alex's luck. Only Chugga Conroy can it, have such luck. It's just, it just sucks that you, if it breaks I was out, say you only lose Chugga. Well, well, Chugga's on break. No, never mind. That's that's Clement, isn't it? He's yeah. on break right now. Clement's on a few break till September. Yes. Because I've actually been... You're, you're going to be proud of me. I've been watching some of his videos. Yeah. In particular, his retrospective on Final Fantasy has been pretty awesome. Yeah, Clement sort of... Him, along well, along with our buddy Art of Anime, made me sh shed a tear Aww. for Final Fantasy IX. Mainly because I have to make my way through eight first. Mist. I have a feeling I'm going to be like the, the internet's next spoonie when I get to Final Fantasy VIII. That was actually a topic we did discuss on the show, was YouTuber burnout. Oh, yeah, you guys did talk about it, and um, that actually sparked a few people asking, well, Drac isn't here. Is he uh, Is he experiencing burnout <laughs> of a kind? I, I was experiencing burnout from lack of sleep. Uh, but I, I also know that, I, I don't know if you guys addressed this at all, but like, the, the first question that obviously came through with that YouTube burner, YouTube burnout article was, are you guys experiencing that? Um, I'm not going to speak for you guys. Right now, no. I'm not. Ow. It's just hard to balance doing YouTube and having to work, work a retail job. Yeah, but in a lot of cases, <clears throat> I mean... This is going to sound weird to say, but I actually kind of like the... I think it's actually a good idea to be able to have that day job to mm -hmm. help kind of ground you. Because then at that point, it actually helps you kind of filter out the good ideas and the bad ideas. Yeah. Um, as, or, or be able to look at a project and go, okay, how much time is this actually going to take? Well, will I catch Articuno? Will Rosette make it out of Seafoam Islands? 
unfrozen. Find out next time. Same Poke time, same Poke channel. Oh, good. <laughs> and will Adam and Andrea wake up from their comas? <laughs> Tune in to the next exciting episode as our dragon shadow turns. Can you please find, like, some, some old, like, workplace slideshow thing of, of people sleeping? Just put that up. We're gonna find that. <laughs> I don't know, just look up sleep, probably.